Today, I'm gonna to show you a really simple, easy to use and free tool to streamline your teaching in Google Classroom. Let's jump in. So all you need to do is just search for Google Classroom. It should be one of the first things that pop up and click on that. And then from here, you can sign into Google Classroom with your Gmail account. Now, just keep in mind, you can utilize and use everything that's built into this for free, but in order to share this with students, you'll need your school or your district to set up a Google Workspace for Education account. It's also free, but they'll need to do that on their end so that you can integrate this with students. And if you check with them, they may already have that account because there's other tools that come along with that, but just keep that in mind as we go through this. Now, when you come to the main page, it'll look a little bit like this. And we're gonna start by creating a class. So we're just gonna start this from scratch. And this is the information that's talking about signing up with your school or your district with the Google Workspace for Education. And so we're just gonna continue from there, okay? So now we wanna create a class. Now it's got some options to fill in some different things, but the only thing that's really required is your class name. Now something that's a little bit of a helpful tip is always include your name in the class name. It makes it a little bit easier for students to find and navigate it, especially if they have several subjects and classes that they're looking for. So I'm just gonna create a class here called, all right, Mr. Canode's Science Class. Okay, and then you can add your section or a subject or the room number in there if you want. We're gonna skip those for example sake. Okay, and then you just click on creating, and then that'll take you to the class homepage. Now, before we explore some of the features, I'm gonna go over how students can join your class. Now, there's a couple of different methods. One is you can manually invite students one by one into your class, and you can do that by going up to the people tab, and then under students, you'll just click the little guy with the plus sign, and then you just add in all of your students emails and names in there as the contact. So that's one option. The other option is you see here, they give you an invite link. So you could just copy that if you already have an email directory of students and you could copy that and send that out to all of them and they can link in there that way. But what I found is a much faster option for this is with this class code here. And you can even hit that to display it even bigger if you have like a projection system in your, in your classroom so that when students sign into their Google Classroom account, then all they have to do is add in this class code and then they'll be in there. So just take a few minutes at the beginning of your class and have everybody get in there and you can troubleshoot as you need to so that you're not having to go through them manually adding everybody one by one if you have a large class that may take some time. So first we're gonna just customize the look of this just to kind of keep things organized. So we're just gonna go up to the customize button here. And you can see they have kind of this, this header image which you can change just by selecting select photos. And they kind of have different subjects and you can pick the one that you like the best or fits what you're uh, teaching to kind of keep that on task. But you see, since I named my class science class, it already gave me this sort of sciency. And the other thing too, is you could change these theme colors if you have multiple classes to kind of keep those organized as well, okay? So we're just gonna click on save. Now, the, the default tab, tab that this comes up with is stream. And kind of think of this like a message board. This is a great way to, you know, share announcements or links or videos, even schedule. You can even schedule announcements to come up later. And you can share these, these messages with the whole class or small groups if you have small groups or even sending individual messages to certain students. You could do all of that from within here. So in order to do that, you could just click on this announcement here. And so you could just type in your thoughts or you know, whatever you need to, to announce, like no school on Monday, click post. And you see that shows up kind of like a Facebook feed or a news feed like that. If you click on that box again, you could see you could add links to YouTube videos or something from your, your Google Drive. You can upload files, create links, all of those built right into there. And then if you type up a post, instead of posting it, you click the little down arrow and schedule it to, let's say we want that to go out on... Tuesday, and you go, okay, schedule. That way you could plan out your whole week of announcements that you need to make and just schedule them in there just like that, okay? The next tab over here is classwork. Now, this is where the bulk of your teaching is gonna happen. This is where you can add all your assignments or the homework and things like that all within this right here. So we're gonna click up here at create, 
And then they have a couple of different options that bring down. It could just be an assignment, it could be a quiz, question, material, or you can reuse something that you've already created. So like you go into assignment and you can add or create materials here, okay? So you could create an assignment to go, let's say this is review. So let's say the assignment is to review chapter one. You can include your instructions. All right, so read over chapter one from your textbook, write down any notes or questions that you have and have it ready for class, right? And so you have all your different formatting options in there as well. You could also upload, if you click on create, you could upload an existing document or a form, something from sheets, slides. You can add those all in there because it's integrated with your existing Google account. So it has access to all of the, the things on your Google Drive. Okay, and you can see you have your drive here and you can search for the files as you need to. And then over on this panel, you can either assign to all students or certain students. Obviously, I don't have this connected to the school, so I, I don't have any students listed there, but you could assign it to all your students or individual stu students. You can also assign a point value to that if you want, or you could just select ungraded. And then you can add the due dates, which I think is very important. So we'll just have this scheduled for Tuesday when we come back. And then you can check this box, which is handy, so that you can close any submissions on the student's end after the due date, or you can allow them to submit it late if you'd like, okay? And then if you have specific topics or sections, you can break those down in here to be even more organized, and obviously you can add your rubric in here as well, okay? So this is really, really handy. And once it, this is all set, you can either assign it immediately or again, schedule it. So what I like to do is sit down at the beginning of the month and schedule out all of the assignments that I know I'm gonna have. Maybe I've gotta move some stuff around or, or edit them. And you could schedule out, which is great for your long-term planning. You don't have to try to do this every day or, or during class or things like that. You could sort of just plan it out in advance, which I like. But we're just going to assign that now. And you can see then it shows up here. And it just pops up here with a suggestion that you can add topics to keep those organized. Now we're going to click on create again. And some other ones, you could do a quiz. You could ask a specific question to a student, follow up with that. You could upload your material. You could have handouts rather than handing out individual papers. If there's a flyer or some information that you need to get to the students and then reusing posts. So this is good year after year. So you could reuse existing posts or assignments that you've created from last year, just update the information and put that back out. And then you could organize by topics here. What I usually do is the units. So I will do like this will be so you could do your section on bugs and insects, right? And then now when you have these assignments, you could just drop it into those individual sections so that it just makes it much easier to organize, okay? Now let's jump over to the people tab. And this is where you'll have a list of all your students in here. Once they're in there, there's also a tab here to be able to invite and add them from this spot. You could add any assistant teachers or substitute teachers in this spot over here. And it'll give you updates on all the students of like their progress on assignments, who's, who's completed what and what still needs to be done. So it's kind of good overview right in here and you can message the students to remind them of an upcoming assignment or as, as needed all within there. And then let's go over to grades. And then here you can add and update all of your students' grades so that they can see where they're at and what the progress is. So that's all built right into here. And then over on the side panel, there is a built-in calendar, which I think this is really handy. So you could kind of see an overview of everything that's going on in the class, what's coming up, what's, what is yet to be done. You could see it just by the individual classes or by the whole thing, right? So this is a really great view to kind of keep track of everything that way. And then you'll see, if we go down here, you can see to review, which is another section I like to check pretty frequently is this shows you, again, you can, you can narrow it down. If you have multiple classes, you can be able to narrow it down to which class, or you can do all classes. And it gives you a really nice snapshot of the work that's in progress, what is due, what's not due, who's turned it in, 
who it's assigned to, all of the information all within here. So you can kind of check and get a quick snapshot to go, okay, I'm still expecting more or everybody turned in their assignment early. So now I can start grading those sorts of things. So that's kind of a nice update there. And then you just go back to your home and you can see all your classes will be in here and you can just click on those and it'll take you to that main page again. And with that, you're up and running with Google Classroom. It is an incredibly powerful tool and it's all for free. So you just need to set it up on the front end and then year after year, you can replicate and reuse and fine tune things as you go. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.